episode seven, Brian Decoded Show. Today, I wanna talk about failed businesses and why people fail businesses in general. What kind of a personality type do you need to have in order to start a successful business? And what kind of skills people are missing? So I want to say that starting a business is a very circumstantial uh, situation. A lot of people, when they are starting a business, they are not mentally prepared. They are lacking the mindset needed to start and maintain and sustain a business. So the first attribute that I'm looking for in an entrepreneur is persistence. But not persistence in doing the same thing over and over again that doesn't work, but persistence in trying new things. Because you are rolling the dice. You are uh, creating an in you're creating an investment into a certain activity with the des with desired outcomes that you want to achieve out of those the activities that you are that you are doing. So it's not that simple and easy when you're starting a business. But there are skills that most people are lacking when they're starting. And besides courage, you need to have a lot of intelligence, obviously. But you need to have these three skills. These are three fundamental skills. And if you have just one of these, you will be able to make it. And if I could, so I'll tell you in a second which one those three are. Those three are. But before I get to that, I, I want you to know that I'm talking more in depth about these strategies on conversioninsider.com, which is my newsletter. So join up in there and you'll get way better content than what, what I'm dropping on YouTube because the, the stuff that goes on the newsletter is much more polished. So back to these three skills. The number one skill is marketing. Starting without having the, the basic essential knowledge of how to market is making your business operate on a hard mode. It's like playing Diablo on, or on Nightmare. Or, or hardcore, you die and you can't you can't get up. The the reason why marketing is number one skill is because it allows you to feel the abundance. If you are not seen, if you do not have the opportunities coming your way, it's going to be very hard to get high high value deals that are needed to run your business. Without high value deals, it becomes very hard to hire. So starting a business is not about just paying yourself. You need to pay people and marketing and all these other expenses that are affiliated with running a business. So, so marketing is, a, is a, like a business hack, like cheat code for business that allows you to be seen in the market. And without marketing, nothing moves. People don't know about you, and the only deals that come your way are cheapo people that are hobbyists in business and that can't afford a real company. So by investing into marketing and understanding how marketing drives results, you are putting yourself in a very prosperous situation. You can actually drive serious revenue needed to pay the payroll because there's a lot of talks. I already did a video about 10K a month, but I, basically what I've said is if you can't make $10,000 per month, you shouldn't be in business. And I still think of it that way. It's not because you have all these additional expenses that need to cover for those 10,000, like that you need to cover within those 10,000. So th those $10,000 don't even come all to you. In order for you to successfully be in business, you gotta be cranking up 20, 30, 50, 100 thousand dollars per month so that you can create a system that is self-sustainable. That means that your system that's self-sustainable is creating value in the ecosystem, is being rewarded by the economy itself, right? So in the way that you can get enough eyeballs on your business is through marketing. So marketing is the essential skill. And if you are thinking about starting a company, you need to learn the ropes of how the marketing is being done all the way from the grassroots, from posting a tweet, from posting a YouTube video, all the way to some high level, like buying ads, creating digital collateral, uh, connecting Facebook pixel, Google ads, tracking, all that stuff. Marketing is a lifeline. 
whether you're doing it through content, whether you're, whether you're doing it paid, you need to be seen. Nothing happens without you being seen. Now that you have marketing, you need to have sales capabilities, especially if you're driving a service-based business. Service-based businesses are essential because they are the easiest ones to start and they are proven. There is nothing wrong with starting a proven business because if you have a couple of years in a proven business, then you can take even bigger risks by starting unproven businesses. Most people start SaaS companies in something random because they think that they will be able to sustain and grow a business that is not proven. You have to prove yourself that you are a person capable of running a business before you can start experimental businesses, right? And the third skill that is absolutely essential if you want to grow your business from, from a fledgling operation to a massive thing is management. Nothing moves if you cannot organize people. Those are the three essential skills that you need in order to start, run, and sustain a business. So, and a lot of people make a mistake of not getting into this game ready. So when you start the company, you better be ready and have marketing, sales, and management skills. Uh, the way I've learned all these skills is by being a manager of a marketing department. That helped me. That helped me a lot. The only thing that I didn't have when I was moving from a larger company that I, that I was running to starting my own thing is that I was so used to having abundance of resources that are of that company that I didn't know how to do marketing grassroots. So if you have zero budget, grassroots marketing and mechanical marketing, just like figuring stuff on the, on the fly is the number one thing that I, that I would start with that prevented me from growing early on. The next business that I'm going to start is going to blow up so quick because I know what I'm doing now. It's, it's a matter of skill. So the other, uh, besides the essential skills, there's three things that people don't bring to the table when they're starting a business. So I have some notes over here. They start with zero capital and they don't have an idea on how to get the investors then they have no skills and knowledge to provide and they don't know how to manage people. So th there's a lot of lack. And when you don't have that visibility as a starting point, you are essentially operating at a scarcity frequency. Oh, I have to get this $3,000 client so I can pay my rent. Oh, otherwise I would have to get a job. Wait, I can't pay my rent. No, I have to go get a job. No, I don't know. Am I applying for, am I getting new clients or am I applying for jobs? Like you get all confused and boom, it's gone, down your business dead. You're just dead in the waters. And, and you can't even manage stress because you don't know where the next opportunity is gonna come from. So I hope this was insightful, but think of it in a, in a different way. Let's say you're born in rich parents from rich parents, you can afford to take shots at target. And if you know which shots are the first ones that you have to take, it becomes hundred times easier. So not everyone is getting it easy when starting a business. So before starting a business, maybe you should think about getting your life in order, figuring out your bare essential problems in life. Because if you, if you don't have light your life down to a science and you're operating at the high degree of chaos in your life, guess what? Starting a business is not going to solve that chaos. It's going to add more entropy and more mayhem and destruction to your life, especially to your finances that you can possibly handle. So do not start a business unless you're ready. And now you know what you need to know in order to get ready. So go learn it and join conversioninsider.com where I'm teaching more about these things. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys.